Good morning. It is Thursday and it's the 28th of May. It's the last day of the week for me working wise this week because I've got tomorrow off. This is the last day that I've booked off though, so from next week I'll be back to full time working from home. Um, I thought I'd start my vlog outside today. I've just done my upper body workout and I actually went up to heavier weights for part of it, so my shoulders are now dead, but um, yeah, I was quite happy with that. Um, so yeah, just having a, catching my breath for a minute, having a drink of water, and then I'm going to go and get ready for the day. Um, I've already edited my video, so hopefully that will be going up um, shortly for the previous two days, and I shall show you when I have something to eat. It probably won't be just yet, because I don't feel hungry at all at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'll show you when I do. See you in a bit. Bye. Just thought I'd show you my current view. You can see over here my chives and my oregano and my mint and there's lettuces and stuff growing in there. So yeah, and then down the other end of the garden we've actually got another bed that you can't quite see behind the bush. It's got potatoes growing. So yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Didn't fancy a huge amount for breakfast, so I've just gone for some fruits. So I've just got some watermelon, some strawberries, and some raspberries with my water. And I shall catch you at lunchtime next time I have something to eat. Hi, here's my lunch. I've got a ham and cheese toasty. This is cheese from a healthy extra A, ham that's free, and the bread is a healthy extra B. I've got salad that's all speed, beetroot that's speed, a hard boiled egg that's free, and I've got some puri puri sauce, just a tablespoon over my salad. And that's half a sin so this is a half a sin lunch and i've got a cup of tea and i shall catch you later next time i have something to eat good evening and here is my evening meal i've got broccoli the tender stem broccoli that's speed i've got baby corn under there i think that's speed as well i've got basmati rice which is free and then this is a quick chicken curry recipe that's on the slim eats website so it's chicken breast um tomato puree stock uh, I've actually put potatoes in to try and thicken it a little bit. Now it has got some corn flour in and it has got a coconut mulli yogurt in there um, that's half a sin. But this is served at least five. There's actually some left as well in the sauce in the saucepan. Um, so I'm probably going to count one sin for this just to cover me, just in case because of the corn flour and the, the yogurt. But everything else is free. It's got, um, I think it's also got onions in. So I'll link the recipe down below in the description, but I have tweaked it slightly. So I'm gonna enjoy this now and I'll show you if I have anything else. Good evening and here are tonight's snacks. I've got one of the little mini favorites of fab lollies, which I think one and a half since I will check before I put it on, but I think they're one and a half and a packet of the Ringos. And this is the 12 and a half gram pack, I think. Yeah, 12 and a half grams. So this is three sins. And that will be me done for the day. And I shall see you again tomorrow for the next one. And poor little Luna, look, sitting here. Oh, it's got the way gone on the light in there. Little Luna's been sleeping on me. Um, they started letting fireworks off with the final clap for the NHS and the carers today and the key workers. And it freaked her out, so she went to hide. So she's finally come out of hiding and sitting on me. Um, it's all been very hot as well today, so it's been too much for her, I think. But anyway, I shall see you again tomorrow for the next one. Bye. So if the clips look okay, I'll put them into the video, but I've just done, I think it's called Pio, which is quite a jumping exercise cardio type one. Really, really hard. And it feels so warm, even though it's like it was 
like half seven, eight o'clock in the morning when we started. Um, and then we did 10 minute hardcore abs, which I really struggled with. Didn't help the fact that actually I, I had the remote control for the TV on the floor and I managed to actually knock it and stop the workout. So I had to try and find where I was in it at one point, but um, so, so hard, so, so hard. So I feel like I've worked out for the day now and done a good job. Definitely couldn't eat at the moment. I feel a bit sick, but um, I'm gonna take some water on, go and have my shower and get ready for the day. <sighs> no work from home today. Oh, I haven't even started the video. It is Friday and it's the 29th of May today. So nearly the end of May. Um, another month gone um, and it sounds like a lot of lockdowns being lifted from Monday so things are changing all the time um, I'll still be working from home for the time being so things won't change significantly and I'll still be working out every day if I can so yeah today I haven't got a huge amount planned I've printed off a pattern I'll show you actually it's on the table I'll just swing you around so I can show you so I've printed off a pattern for making a mask because I kind of think if more people are going to be out and about and more shops opened up that I might need one and I don't currently have one and I've got some nice fabric so I'm going to make myself a mask or maybe two or three and I might also try and have a go at doing my gifted item, my um, plant, pot, pot, plant pot holder. Um, so yeah that's the plan for today. I'm also going to go down and socially visit my mum. Um, so yeah. Um, quite a busy day planned really considering and I'm going to try and chill out a bit as well so so there anyway I'm going to go and get my shower and I'll show you when I have something to eat bye for now good morning and here is my breakfast I've got a slice of brown bread um, you can have two slices of healthy extra beet I think I'm going to sin this bread because I'm thinking of well I'm not sure yet um, I'm thinking of doing pizzas in the pizza oven outside later because it's a nice day and if I do, I might either make some dough, and if I make dough, I'll sin it. If I don't, then I will use a pit of bread, so then I'll use my health extra beef for that. So by the time I edit this, I'll know what I'm doing and I'll put on screen, but either way, it's it's not, it's on plan, so it's fine. I've got a bit of um, Laughing Cow Light spread on the bread instead of butter, part of my healthy extra A. Again, I won't be having much milk today. I've got literally my coffee there, but that'll probably be it, apart from the rest of it I'll be saving for cheese for my pizza later. Um, I've got tomatoes for speed, I've got um, bacon, which is free, it's all the fat removed, and scrambled egg. So this is what I'm having now. I've got an extra little cheese triangle there, just in case I need it. I did my workout, it's quite tough today, and I'm feeling quite peckish, so I've got my coffee there. So this is my breakfast, I'm going to tuck in and enjoy it. See you later. I just thought I'd let you know, I didn't eat the other laughing cow, I didn't need it. Did, uh, breakfast was delicious and really hit the spot. So put this back in the fridge and it means I've got a bit of extra cheese now for my pizza later. So I shall see you when I'm going to have something to eat or do something interesting. Bye for now. First job of the day is to sort out this shoe cupboard. There's quite a few shoes that need getting rid of out of here. We've actually bought a new cupboard because we've obviously decorated and painted now this nice light grey colour and all the glossing's been done so I just want to tidy it up a bit so we're getting rid of this unit and we're going to put an, a new one in there that's hopefully a little bit smaller so it, it, we can open this door properly because at the moment it stops the door opening but yeah lots of shoes in here and lots need to go through and see whether they need going to charity or whether they need thrown away so first job of the day cupboard is empty and now moved out of the way pile of shoes that we are keeping on this side the ones in the carry bag are the ones that are just fit for the bin and the ones in the blue bag are hopefully going to charity once they reopen and start accepting donations again. And then there are also a load of shoes that are going to be going upstairs onto a different shoe rack up on the top floor. So that's progress so far. I'm now going to go and assemble the new unit.
finished coat rack shoe thing. I don't know if you could tell from when I was putting it together, but it's it's not the best. I mean, I thought it was a really good kit because they labelled everything with the letter, so it was really easy to follow. But then it's just not a very well-made piece of furniture, really. You can see that some of the hooks are crooked, but anyway, it's it's smaller than the one that was there, so it makes it easy. So we can now open and close this door, like so. So yeah, that's it finished. I've just got back from my mum's and I'm hungry. I've not had any lunch, it's half two. Um, but it's really warm and I really can't bother to do anything. So I've just made a grazing bowl of fruit and a cup of tea. I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy this for a bit and then see how I feel and I might make something else. But I just feel like I've got no energy whatsoever. So I just popped down and did a quick social visit to my mum. I decided to take a chair down and sit outside in the garden. Um, obviously at a distance. I know we're not supposed to do it till Monday, but I decided to do it today. I've got a day off today. And, you know, since people seem to break the rules anyway, I don't think it really matters. So um, we still distanced and all the rest of it and took things as precaution. But I'm going to go and um, enjoy my fruit. I just feel absolutely shattered. I've done quite a lot today, so... I really want to do my mask and my macrame, but I'm going to sit down and have half an hour, an hour first, watch a bit of TV, put my feet up, maybe even have a nap, and then um, I shall start again. So I shall show you next time I do something or have something. Bye. So I'm just sitting down watching some TV, and my son just brought me up four of the Costco Foxwood chicken nuggets. Um, and I wasn't going to eat them, I was actually going to save some for Luna, but... I've just sat and scoffed the whole lot without even really thinking about it. Um, I need to go and have a look in the sin estimator because they're not coming up on the app. Um, I think I could probably estimate them at about one and a half sins. The good thing with them is that they're baked in the oven and they are proper chicken inside, like proper breasted chicken. Not reconstituted or anything like that, but they are obviously in breadcrumbs. So there will be some sins attached. Most of the chicken nuggets I could see in the app tended to be one and a half sins each, so... If I count one and a half sins each, it's not too bad. It's only about six sins, and I'm not on a great deal for today. I've just had fruit for like an afternoon lunchy snack. I had scrambled egg, bacon, and tomato on toast this morning, so I've had no sins today actually so far yet. So <clears throat> it's not too bad if they are six sins. Um, in fact, if a little bit more than that, I was hoping to save a little bit for tea later. So. Um, so yeah, but I just thought I didn't actually film it because I was I couldn't move, I've got Luna on me. Nowhere near my camera to be able to, or my phone to be able to film. So I've just been a greedy little monster sitting here just eating without thinking about it. But anyway, I shall see you later when it's tea time. Bye for now. So I've got my instructions for doing my hanging plant macrame. I've got my little snippers. Um, tape measure. Sorry, Luna's choking over there. Are you okay, Luna? And I've got some yarn. And I'm actually watching the tutorial on the TV as well because sometimes it's easy to follow things visually when you've not done it before for the first time. So I will try and record as much as I can when I'm ready to get into it. So the instructions say to hook them over my dowel or knitting needle. This isn't going to be a very flattering angle I'm sitting at. I've got my belly hanging out and my double chin but it still keeps not stopping me snacking isn't it which is the main thing That was actually a lot harder than it looked to do. Um, trying to hold this thing and hold the strands and plait it, and on the re reverse side, reverse plait it, and then hold it to knot it was actually incredibly hard. Um, so yeah, the lot the yarns aren't quite even now. If you look at how the, the opposite ends, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so yeah, I achieved the first bit, so I'm quite pleased with that. 
and then uh, I shall see. I'll show you the next stage. I think the next part of it is making square knots, which I've not done before, so this should be interesting. So I've relocated to the floor because I've decided it will be easier to spread out and keep the sections separate if I do it on the floor. So that's my current plan, and I'll show you when I do the next bit. So I've done six square knots probably about five six inches from the handle bit that I've made um, so now I need to combine it all together so you have to take two strands out of this one and this one and to form a knot so it kind of brings it together so I've now relocated to the door handle because it's just so hard to see what you're doing on the floor so I've done the first row of knots and then I've done the second row so I'm actually on the third row now um, it's really hard to keep them all level as well, so I can see that I've already gone a little bit higher on this one. But I'm just doing the best I can really, and I don't know how big to do it, because this is the same pattern you can use for doing as a bottle holder or a plant holder. So I'm thinking maybe one more row at the very most is all I need, I think, and then I can finish it off. So I shall show you when I've done. So this is it, it's nearly finished. I'm not sure whether to just braid the bottom or whether just to leave it fringed but I'm quite happy how it's turned out. I'm holding it a bit of a funny angle because it's too long for this door handle. I think I'm going to tie it off here and then put a bit of fringe at the bottom and if I don't like the plait I can always undo it and cut it a bit further up. So, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that and it's kept me busy for a good couple of hours and stopped me thinking about food and that's the most important thing. Good evening and here is my evening meal. Change of plan, we didn't end up having pizza because I couldn't get any wood for the pizza oven. So instead I nicked out and bought some burgers. Everybody else has had the 5% fat burgers but um, the other burgers um, that I bought to go with it because there wasn't enough for all of us just were disgusting. They just were horrible mushy burgers that then just burnt from Tesco. So I've given all the 5% fat one burgers out to everybody else and I've got a sweet potato burger from Aldi. That one is half a sin. There is another one if I want one because I'm not having the bun with it. I decided I wasn't going to have the bread. So the one slice of bread I had this morning, I'm going to class that as healthy extra B. I might have the other slice if I need it later. Um, it's just a slice of toast or something, but at the moment that's what I'm having. I've got a little cucumber and tomato there, onions and mushrooms, and that's all speed. And I've got some wedges with some Cajun seasoning on. So that is my dinner and that is half a sin. And I shall see you later next time I have something to eat. I decided to add some of the 50% less sugar um, tomato ketchup and some of the light and light mayo. So I put some point, uh, sins, not points, oh gosh that's a bit of a, a sin there saying that. Um, some sins on screen for that. And I'm going to have a little bit of cheese over my burger um, that's part of my health extra A. So I just thought I'd add that because I forgot earlier. Um, just finished dinner and it was actually quite nice. Um, it's just a bit late really. Um, the day's just kind of got away with me again, even though I wasn't working today. Um, if you haven't tried those sweet potato burgers from Aldi that are in the chilled section, in my Aldi it's near all the quiches and stuff like that. It isn't near the burgers and all the places you'd expect it to be and that's why I couldn't find them last time I went in. Um, it was really nice. If I had to compare it to anything, it would be something like a bit like a falafel, but obviously a lot bigger. It's quite spicy. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. And actually, because it's quite dry, um, you definitely wouldn't want necessarily to have a bun with it. It's it's okay without a bun. So yeah, I feel really, really full now. Um quite happy with that. I don't think I'll be having anything else to eat. Um, I've got a bit of a red face going on. I don't know if it's from walking out in the sunshine, but I didn't really go out an awful lot in it today. I just look really red. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'll be that long out of bed really, probably about another half or so, half an hour or so. Um, I'm going out for a run in the morning um, at nine o'clock. I've got to be over at the place for nine o'clock, so I'll be leaving here about half eight. So I'm not planning on a really early start, but it will obviously be an early one. So I'm going to be going to bed shortly. I'm going to make myself a drink. I don't think I've drank enough today. I can kind of feel it in my kidneys and stuff that I've not drank enough. So I'm going to try and have a drink before I go to bed and then I'm off to bed. So anyway, um, I think this is the last day, is this the last day of my video? 
Yes, it is. So th this video will be going up tomorrow at some point. Um, if you enjoyed it, um, give it a like. Um, feel free to comment. I love to read all your comments. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, um, just click on the subscription button, please, if you don't mind. Um, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again uh, tomorrow for the next one. Bye for now.